Hey there, this is Rob Wells from the Law Office Robert Wells, also the Landlord Warrior on TikTok. In this video, I'm going to be responding to a question we had on um, YouTube from Janine White about uh, whether or not a PDF letter indicating tenant surrendering um, property at a, by a certain date could be used for the basis of an eviction. Um, and... and I actually had to take a look at this one right here. Sometimes you got to look at the code book to see what qualifies and whatnot. And to answer that question, um, it looks like that probably would be acceptable. And here's the reason why I'll clarify. So, you know, when a tenant gives a notice that they're going to surrender, uh, what that triggers is you got to look at the Code of Civil Procedure, Section 1161. Um, and subdivision five controls like when a tenant gives notice, basically. And the code basically says when the tenant gives a written notice as provided in section 1946 of the civil code um, or makes a written offer to surrender, that's probably where I would rest my hat on. The tenant has made a written offer to surrender the property and it has to be accepted in writing by the landlord. And I guess the question is, can can you do this electronically? Well, theoretically, yes, because writings can also be um, electronic as well, such as I scan a PDF letter and email it to you, um, that type of deal. So worst case scenario, if, if this is all we had, a PDF letter saying, hey, I'm going to vacate the property by... Uh, within 30 days and you, the landlord, accept that, that possibly could be used to go into court uh, on an unlawful detainer to start an eviction should your tenant not vacate the property. Now, I will caution you, landlords, it doesn't work the exact same way for you giving notice because the way the Code of Civil Procedure is written, it makes it where it's conditioned on the tenant making a written offer to surrender. You, on the other hand, cannot email a written termination notice, a 30, 60, or 90-day notice, because that is governed by Civil Code 1946 um, of the Civil Code. And you only have three methods of service of that notice. It either, ha notice has to be in writing, it has to be either personally served to the tenant, served through another uh, adult at the property, that would be substitute service, or if um, no one was available to accept service of the notice and you don't know where the place of business of your tenant is at, you can post and mail the notice or certify mail it. That's another grounds. There's four. Um, so code of civil, uh, the civil code incorporates the code of civil procedure with serving a, no um, a notice or it says on its own terms, you can certify or mail that notice as well too. So landlords, your notices are going to have to be per the civil code. Um, tenants, on the other hand, with this carve out in 1161 subdivision five, you may, uh, a letter that is emailed may qualify for that. And my, my recommendation is just, you know, because a lot of these things aren't flushed out within the appellate courts or whatnot, is if you do get a letter like that, it better it's best to memorialize that the surrender um, in writing and just everyone's on the same page and they sign that and as like an addendum saying, hey, you know, we acknowledge getting your letter effective 30 days from today, the move out date's gonna be X, Y, and Z. Everyone's landlord and tenant sign that. That's probably gonna be your best way to avoid a legal dispute because part of the problem I can see is with the written surrender is, you know, I didn't intend to surrender or if it's all verbal, that doesn't count because it requires a writing. So, um, you know, just, you know, appellate court equals money, basically, if you have to go on a fight, a, a, an appeal, basically. So it's better just to draw that stuff up right, you know, and just memorialize it. So hopefully, Janine, that answers your question here. It looks like your PDF letter probably would qualify, but it just doesn't work the, op the other way around. If you were to give a notice to the tenant, 
you have to comply with all the terms of uh, Civil Code 1946 and 1946.1. So hopefully that helps. If you have questions like this, you know, on one of our videos or anything you see, comment and I'll answer them to my best of my ability. And if you need help with a landlord tenant situation, um, we are available to help you out with that. So just send your questions uh, and check us out online. Okay. Talk to you then.